I am passionate about business and entrepreneurship. After spending more than a decade in the corporate world, I decided to start my own business many years ago. And since then, I haven't looked back. I realized that business is one of the most tough intellectual sports in the world. And it makes sense to me now why very few business owners actually survive in business and even fewer thrive. There are a number of reasons why somebody may want to start their own business or make the leap from employee to entrepreneurship. Some of those reasons are that business allows you to be able to add tremendous value in the marketplace. It allows you to be able to solve a problem in the marketplace that is currently not being solved properly. It allows you to be able to generate employment for others. It allows you to be able to create wealth for yourself. And of course, it creates wealth in the economy as well. There is no doubt that when you become an entrepreneur or a business owner, you really need to upskill yourself. See, running a business successfully is not just a one-dimensional skill. It requires multi-dimensional thinking and it requires a range of skills that one needs to be able to build a business successfully. The rewards are tremendous. Once you have built something from scratch, it gives you an amazing sense of accomplishment because you realize that not only did you create something for yourself, you created something for your customers, you've created something for your stakeholders and your staff members. But the reality is that many business people fail and a lot of people take a leap into business for the wrong reasons. Uh, many people will become a business owner or an entrepreneur because they don't like working for their boss or they want time freedom. A lot of them will become an entrepreneur or a business owner because they feel that what they do, they do it so well. For example, a baker may decide to start up a bakery. A person who cuts hair may decide to set up their own hair salon. And none of these are really bad reasons to get into business, except a lot of people get into business without fundamentally understanding the strategies and the principles that result in business success. And without any training, they get into one of the toughest intellectual sports in the world. After having built both both traditional businesses as well as online businesses and building multiple brands but not only that mentoring a lot of aspiring and new entrepreneurs as well as advising a lot of existing business owners I started to reflect on the fact that there are many many reasons why a lot of business people and entrepreneurs fail despite the fact that entrepreneurship offers a wonderful opportunity to people and I'm going to discuss with you some of the main reasons why a lot of entrepreneurs and business people fail when they make the leap from employee to entrepreneurship. The first reason has to be mindset. Entrepreneurship requires a very different way of thinking. You need to be tremendously mentally tough, extremely resilient, and you need to be extremely agile. In the beginning stages, there is really no room for work and life balance. You're working all the time. The fact is when you are working as an employee, you get paid for your time. But as an entrepreneur, your time doesn't really matter. You don't get paid for inputs. You only get paid for outputs. The second reason why a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners fail is because they're not good at managing their time. Everybody has 24 hours in a day, but those business owners and entrepreneurs that make it big are very smart at how they allocate their time to the highest priority activities, whereas most people sort of get up in the morning and when they make the transition into business, they spend a lot of time into low value tasks and priorities that don't actually add value to their business. The third reason why a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners fail is because they don't have clarity on their business model. There are many, many business models in business from retail to wholesale to distribution to a professional services based practice to services based businesses to network marketing, subscription models, online businesses, so on and so forth. And a lot of the times people don't have any understanding of what kind of business model they're going to build. So they end up doing a lot of random things and they hope and wish that it's going to work out. But without a clear business model, it's very hard to do business planning. The fourth reason why a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners fail is because they don't have a proper business plan. A business plan is something that outlines what is your point of differentiation, what are the opportunities in the marketplace, what are the threats in, in the marketplace, and what are the weaknesses that can cause you to fail in business. The fifth reason why a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners fail is because they don't understand business finance. The reality is any game that you play, you've got to understand the numbers. You've got to be able to tell the difference between a balance sheet from your profit and loss from your cash flow statements. 
Unfortunately, a lot of business people who are actually making good revenue, even they can't interpret their financial statements, which means that even when they're successful in business, they do not sustain over the long term because if you can't read the scoreboard, you can't measure and monitor what's going on. The sixth reason why a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners fail is because they don't have a properly defined unique value proposition. They don't know how to differentiate their product or service from similar products or services in the marketplace, which means that even when their prospective customer or client has a need for what they do, the customer or client doesn't always make the connection that the entrepreneur in question is the best person to seek that, that service from. The seventh reason why a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners fail is because they don't have a compelling and memorable brand. Brand is how prospects and customers feel about your company and your products and services and how they feel when they interact with somebody from your company. If you don't have clarity on the type of brand and the type of feeling that you want to create in people, the reality is you're not going to be memorable and compelling and if you're easy to forget, then it's going to be very difficult for you to be able to drive people through your marketing initiatives. The eighth reason why a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners fail is because they don't understand marketing and selling. Either they have negative connotations attached to marketing and selling, or they're just very poor at it and they believe that advertising is the same as marketing. Uh, marketing is the act of attracting the right customer and persuading that customer to buy from you. And if you don't understand the principles and fundamentals of marketing, it is very difficult for you to have a consistent flow of leads, meaning people who will benefit from your product or service. And when you don't have a consistent flow of leads, the revenue in your business can drive very quickly. The ninth reason why a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs fail is because they don't have a sales management system, they don't have a sales strategy, and they don't have trained salespeople who know how to interact with people. The tenth reason is that a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners don't have a proper operational plan which maximizes operational efficiencies. Even if you get sales, even if you get revenue in the front door, if you don't keep an eye on costs and you don't keep an eye on the customer experience, the fact is that that revenue can drive very quickly. The eleventh reason is that there is no segmentation in the business and the pricing that has been chosen has been chosen blindly without any analysis. You see, pricing is very complex and a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners do not test the price elasticity, but they also make decisions on pricing based on what their competitors are doing. And unfortunately, if the pricing is the same, then a lot of the prospective customers are going to make the assumption that there is nothing different in what you offer. The twelfth reason why a lot of entrepreneurs and businesses fail is because they don't have a well-defined culture in their business. Peter Drucker used to say that culture eats strategy for breakfast and culture is really how the people who work in the business feel about that business. You've got to have a prescribed set of values that you're going to function by and the absence of those prescribed values, what's going to happen is everyone's going to make up their own rules and people are not going to know how they're supposed to act. And once people don't have a cohesive feel in an organization, the engagement drops and because of that, a lot of people leave, which ends up being very expensive for the entrepreneur and business owner, especially in the early days, because when good people leave, to replace good people, to recruit good people, and to train good people is a very expensive exercise. The 13th reason why a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners fail is because they don't have a proper progression plan, a training plan, and a succession plan in their business. That means that people who work for them can't really see how they can achieve their personal goals by working for the organization. And then if one of those key people get a better offer from another business, a lot of the times those people leave. And this is the entrepreneur and business owner's responsibility to make sure that they're putting a progression plan in place so that the people that are working for them can see very clearly how providing more output in the business can result in better career progression for them. These are just some of the primary reasons why a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners fail. And I constantly get so many people reaching out to me and they reach out to me at the wrong time. Rather than reaching out in the early stages of business before they build the business up, rather than training themselves properly, a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs will wait till the problems become really big in their business where they either the revenue is drying up, the sales are drying up or the key people are leaving. And that's when a lot of people come and approach us. Smart entrepreneurs and business owners know that if you're going to play a game well, you need to understand the rules of that game, you need to have a lot of training in that game, and you need to be able to read the scoreboard of that game. 
Unfortunately, most entrepreneurs and business owners try and wing it. They hope and guess they don't really have a proper plan, they don't have a really proper strategy, they don't have the right education, they don't have the right disciplines, and then they wonder why they fail. If you're an existing entrepreneur or a business owner, I'd like you to identify out of all the factors that I have mentioned, which are the ones that you can start working on to improve your chances of success in business. Business isn't easy, but what makes it even more difficult is when people get into the game without an understanding of how the game is played. The world of entrepreneurship and business offers tremendous rewards for those who will take the time to understand the game, train for the game, and learn how to read the scoreboard. If you're someone who is looking to get into the game of business, do not make the mistake that most entrepreneurs and business owners make of underestimating and not realizing how the game is played. I wish you all the best in this amazing game of business.